think? It's excellent. And right. You might as well leave. <laughs> anybody like to try some? Did anybody get some? Everybody got some? Would you like to try some? Just a soup? Yep. Right here. Like it that much? Can't take a container home with you. Oh, all the proceeds go to scholarships. Oh. Well, I think I might spring for it. I still look like that. everybody doing? Okay, I just wanted to uh, get everybody organized here, uh, introduce myself. I'm Todd Blount, CEO and President of Blount Fine Foods, and we're really happy to host you guys here today. Um, this is a special occasion, as you guys know, to launch the Mayor's Soup, and uh, we're just happy to be do our part uh, to connect to the community. So I wanted to welcome uh, everybody who made the effort to be here today, and the kids, and just wanted to hand it over to the Mayor. Thank you very much, Todd, and it's an honor for me uh, to be here with all of you this afternoon. And before I say a few words, uh, some of our elected officials uh, took time out of their busy schedules to also join us here today, and the candidates and elected officials uh, for coming out here. And if you take a look around, we have a number of leaders here in our business community who took the time and effort to also be here people who have come out uh, and to be a part of this soup launch. People from the neighborhood is here. Citizens are here. We've been joined by royalty uh, this <laughs> afternoon <laughs> with Miss Fall River. All of whom who have uh, rallied around the city and when they see a good cause, when they see a good idea, uh, they get behind it. And about a year ago, I partnered with Todd and out seafood and we had this idea to help raise money for scholarships here in the community and with the cost of a college education continuing to rise we put our two heads together and last name is Flanagan uh, but my grandmother immigrated uh, to this country from St. Michael's Azores and with that, she brought with her a lot of customs and traditions. One of them was all the great recipes that also came from the old country. So I told Todd, you know, I remember as a child, my mom Catherine's here today too. I remember as a child going to my grandmother's house and there was always a big pot of soup on the stove. And often more times than not, the soup was kale soup. So this being the greater Fall River area, this having such a strong Portuguese culture and tradition, I said to Todd, can we do a kale soup? And can we do it in such a way that it's going to honor the city of Fall River and do it in such a way where the proceeds are going to go and benefit our students to help them with scholarships and the rising cost of a college education. And throughout this entire journey, uh, Todd's always used the word yes, and he's never used the word no. And he's such a great community partner, and I'm glad to have him with us here, but also glad to have him as a part of the city. And then we contacted Chris Dominey from JOH. I'm gonna ask Chris to come up and join us too. And we pitched the idea to JOH. Now JOH is one of the largest uh, food advertisers nationwide. And we said, can you be a part of this venture with us? We have this great idea. We want to market it, sell it, raise money, give it back in the form of scholarships to students. And he always said yes. He said never said no. And then we got Amarals to help distribute it. And starting today, it's on the shelves here at Blount. It's on the shelves here uh, in the city, throughout the greater Fall River area, throughout Rhode Island. And Stop and Shop and Shores, and it's going to be carried in local supermarkets throughout the greater Fall River area. 
So why do we do it? Well, we do it because of the folks who are joining me here right now, and that's the young boys and girls. Eight years from now, when they graduate from high school, we want them to be able to go on to college and not have to worry about the price of a college education. I want to share a story with everybody. And last year, I had the fortune of meeting a uh, high school graduate from the area of high school. And I knew she was a talented musician and she wanted to go to the Berkeley School of Music as her top choice. And as the school year wound down, I had a chance to have another discussion with her. And I asked her, where did you get accepted? And she says, I got accepted to Berkeley. And I said, congratulations, I knew that was your top choice. But she said, I'm not going, Mayor Flanagan. And I said, why not? That was your school, that's where you wanted to go, you're a talented musician, why aren't you going to Berkeley? She said, I can't afford it. I can't afford to live up in Boston, I can't afford to pay the, the tuition payments, so I have to go to my number two school and not be able to focus on music for my college education. That's not the way it's supposed to be. And I asked Corey, Corey also join us, and Corey's uh, the CEO of Word. He helps run that program. And Word is a daycare and development center here in the city of Fall River. And right now they got a waiting list. They're looking to expand in the community. And I'm gonna do everything I can to help them find a permanent home here in the city of Fall River to let them continue their expansion, to get the kids off the waiting list so they can get a early education. And our administration believes in education from cradle to career. So that journey throughout pre-K, elementary school, middle school, high school, college, to a career is what we're promoting here in Fall River. And I'm gonna ask Corey to say a few words on behalf of Word too. Corey. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you the invite here today. Uh, the Honorable Mayor Flanagan has been a, a bigger support of uh, Word Child Development Center. I really appreciate that. This year we're celebrating 30 years of providing high quality child care services to the greater Fall River area. And presently we're serving 99 children with a 50% waiting list. And we're really excited to grow. We're really excited to invest in early child care. And we're really invested to invest, uh, to invest in the scholarship campaign. And also that uh, the city is really honoring education, particularly early child care. So thank you very much. I appreciate the invite today. Thank you. Thank you. Me. And a young lady who I had a chance uh, to meet here is uh, Miss Fall River. And when she goes out into the community, uh, she's always promoting college. She herself is a uh, nursing student at UMass Dartmouth. And I felt it was important here today to talk about her journey and to tell us a little more about college and, and the rising cost of it. Hi everybody, um, my name is Jillian Zuko, I'm 19 years old, as he said I go to UMass Dartmouth where I'm in the Honors Nursing Program and I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Just so that you know a little bit about the Miss Fall River organization, it's a scholarship pageant, it's not a beauty pageant, you're judged on talent, interview, lifestyle, fitness, on stage, quest on stage question and evening gown, and talent and interview are worth the most. And so through this scholarship organization, you really learn life skills such as um, public speaking and interview skills, and I think that's really important, and I've learned a lot through that whole process. Um, you're also required to have a platform. It's something that you stand for, something that you're going to promote through throughout your year of service. Mine is called Choose a Cause, Make a Difference, and it's about spreading the spirit of volunteerism. And so during my year of service, I'm, I'm focusing on the variety of volunteer opportunities there are out there because I think that a lot of young people see volunteering as a chore and I want them to know that it doesn't have to be that way. It can be something fun and exciting. It builds your college resume, helps you with scholarships. This is the scholarship city. It's extremely important. And so I just want to say that it's extremely important to have scholarships and scholarship organizations in the city and I think it's great what Mayor Flanagan and these other efforts, I think it's amazing what's going on because a lot of students depend on these scholarships to even get their hires, and I'm going to post more um, details on the Miss Fall River website, which is www.missfallriver.org. Um, I'm actually I'm using as many resources from the city of Fall River as um, as possible for food auction items, and it's it's my way of helping the city, you know, bringing um, bringing more attention to those businesses and 
I just want to say that I'm thankful for these businesses and scholarship organizations such as the Miss Fall River organization for giving me the opportunity to be here and speak about my platform and I'm thankful for the scholarships I've received through, from the Miss Fall River organization and the other scholarships as well because without them I wouldn't be able to achieve my higher education. So thank you everybody and thank you for having me. Thank you. Jillian's a young lady involved in the community and uh, it would be important for all of us to come out and support her at her fundraiser uh, coming up and to help you in your uh, quest to improve the quality of your life. Thank you. So I want to say thank you for everybody for being here, especially Todd Blount, the Blount family, uh, JOH and Chris Darmody for their continued partnership, Amber Rose for being our distributor do everything we can to help Word in their continued growth throughout the city. And most importantly, I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy afternoon to join me here. And the soup is on sale today. It's for $5.99. I would encourage all of you to take a container before you leave uh, to the register. And every sale helps another child uh, go on to college and in, in his or her God-given potential. So thank you all for being here. Uh, this has been a tremendous opportunity uh, for the city, and it means a lot to me to see the turnout that we have. Thank you, and God bless.